This is a video of getting to the summit of Blencathra via Sharp Edge and then descending down Hallsfell Ridge as a loop. We've parked up in Scales just off the A66 at a pub called the White Horse Inn. And if you walk round the back of the pub, you can start your ascent. Once you get to the top of the steep path, make your way over the stile. This bit really is so steep as well. Again, you have another really steep section here, but once you get to the top of this bit, it's much flatter. As you can see here, you make a right. Just keep following this path, it does go on for a while. Eventually, you see the path open up to a crossroad, just go straight over. Keep following this path and eventually you'll come to another crossroad. When you get to the crossroad, if you turn right, that takes you to South of Fell. But what we're doing today is we're going straight over, which takes you to Scales Torn and Sharp Edge. Just keep following this path now. Scales Torn lies at an approximate elevation of 598 metres or 1,962 feet. It's also approximately 26 feet deep. The path very soon starts to become steps. This is where you make your ascent up to Scales Torn. Cross over scales back here and keep following the path up to your left. In some places this ascent is quite steep but it doesn't last for long. And after the short climb you're here at scales torn. And just there is sharp edge. We're just making our way up to the start of Sharp Edge. As you can hear, it's a little bit windy, but it's not as windy as it actually sounds. I decided to do this video as a POV just so you could get a real first hand experience of what it's like. As you can see I've got the GoPro attached to my head so that's why the camera's facing down sometimes and the camera looks where I'm looking.
quick look back down to Scales Town. What I've noticed while doing sharp edge is you can make it as easy or as difficult as you want. Yeah, it's a ridge walk, but you don't have to be walking along the rocks like I'm doing. There is a few paths that you can see to the right hand side, which you can keep following, which gives you a bit of an easier route up. Sharp Edge leads up to the summit of Blencathra, which is the 14th highest Wainwright. Blencathra stands at 2,847 feet, which is 868 metres. Scales Town lies at an approximate elevation of 598 metres, which is 1,962 feet. And finally, at its deepest point, it's 26 feet deep. Unfortunately, the GoPro just doesn't seem to show how steep the sharp edge is. There's another ridge walk up Blencathra and it's called Halls Fell Ridge but it's nowhere near as exposed as Sharp Edge. Like I said at the beginning you can make this walk as easy or as difficult as you want. There's a path to your right hand side here or you can go over the rocks, it's up to you.
now as you may be able to see we've just reached the scrambly part of sharp edge and this is where you'll need the three points of contact sharp edge is actually classed as a grade one scramble what you will notice when you get to this point of sharp edge is there's little grooves and channels in the rock like this one that you can follow up Once you see this bit of a path here, you know you're practically at the top of Sharp Edge. And from there, you just keep following the path and it will take you all the way up to the summit of Blencathra.
now it's time to descend Holesville Ridge. Holesville Ridge is an iconic ridge route up or down Blencathra. If you're going up Holesville Ridge, the upper crest is classed as a Grade 1 scramble. You have to be cautious though because underfoot is slate rock and when it gets wet it can be very slippy. As you can see, coming off the main path, there's lots of little windy paths, but they all lead to the same way. The great thing about going down Holesfell Ridge is the incredible views you have in front of you. To our left there's also two other routes down, they're called Doddick Fell and Scale Fell. And to our right we've got Blees Fell which takes you down to the Blencathra Centre. The GoPro doesn't quite show how steep some of these little bits are on the way down. But as you can imagine, like I just said, it's a grade one scramble on the upper crest. So you can imagine they are quite steep. Another great thing about going down Holesfell Ridge is there's so many little paths coming off the main path, no two walks will be the same. You can also make your walk as easy or as difficult as you want. You can walk over the top of the rocks or you can go for the easier paths that most people go for. I'd say descending Holesfell Ridge would probably be best done on a dry day. I'm using a Solomon Trail Trainer and they're sticking to the rocks incredibly.
it's always good to have a look behind and see what you've come down. And the views of the ridge on a clear day are amazing. You've actually got four paths here, one to the left of me, and you've got these three here. They all lead to the same place. Here you have incredible views looking over to Thermier and Derwent Water. If you're after incredible views, this walk is a must on a clear day. So now we're not actually too far from the bottom. And when we do get to the bottom, I'm going to show you how to get to the A66 again. More incredible views there of Clough Head and looking over to the Western Fells. Cheers.
So once you've got to the bottom of the path, you'll see that gate on the left and go through that gate and you'll end up walking down here. There's another gate just up ahead, which is this one here. And it seems to bring you out to a, like a large farm. Following the sign that says footpath, you'll walk past these buildings here and you seem to hear a lot of barking from dogs here. Follow this road all the way to the end. And then when you get to the end, follow the road round left. And eventually it leads to a gate. Once you've made it to the gates, go through. There shouldn't be any cars on this road. Now, if you just keep following it, it will eventually take you to the A66. And there you are, just through this gate here. This leads to the A66. So now it's just a 15, 20 minute walk and it'll take you back to scale. And we're now back at the pub for that well-earned pint.